Not quite a tomato, and definitely not an armadillo, the tomatillo is a juicy, tangy staple in Mexican cuisine that is our topic on WTF. It's time to ditch the macrame and get in style. We're talking Slate. The Brooklyn Slate Company is a manufacturer of Slate coasters for drinks and cheese trays that are sure to impress all of your friends and family at your next party. Check them out online at brooklynslate.com. So this is a tomatillo. Now you can get them in most grocery stores and you'll notice that they have this outer husk on them. And as soon as you peel it away, you start to realize that the interior fruit looks a heck of a lot like a tomato. Bing. Now, the tomatillo is often referred to as a Mexican tomato, but even though it is in the tomato family, it's a lot closer to the gooseberry, which we'll cover in another episode. History shows that the Aztecs started growing tomatillos about 800 BC. In fact, the Aztec word tomatil or tomati or tomatil uh, means round and plump. It's my nickname. As a food, they can be eaten raw or cooked, but one must remove the husk first and wash the exterior because it has a sticky surface. Uh, today, we are going to cook our tomatillos into a beautiful green Mexican chili. First, rinse and quarter your tomatillos. Have some poblano peppers and serrano peppers and scoop out the inner membrane and seeds and pop them in a 400 degree oven until they are roasty toasty. Meanwhile, add some vegetable oil to a heavy bottom pan and brown some cubes of pork that have been seasoned with salt and pepper. Now add a sliced onion and let that start to caramelize. Then add some diced garlic along with two teaspoons of cumin and a few sprigs of oregano. When your green vegetables have been thoroughly roasted, add them to the pork and mix. Finally, add a cup of orange juice, a cup of chicken stock, and the juice of one lime. Cover the pot and add it to a 270 degree oven for about three hours or until the meat is tender. Garnish with some sour cream and cilantro and enjoy. So that is how you make a killer chili. It's actually my favorite type of chili. Leave the red stuff at home. Um, this goes perfect for the Super Bowl, especially if the green team wins. And I hope you enjoy it with your friends and family. If you have a food that you'd like us to cover on WTF, please leave it in the comments below. And if you're watching this on iTunes or YouTube, give us a thumbs up and five stars. I will see you tomorrow with a new WTF.